Just a few years ago, bro, I was sleeping in a single room with eight other guys, bunk beds, like we're in a prison or something. What's going on, guys? Right now, you're about to watch the most transparent and honest video I've ever posted on the internet. Look, like I said in my previous video, I don't wanna just share workouts with you. I wanna share things with you that will help you in all areas of your life. Sometimes I wanna just sit here and tell stories and that's exactly how I'm feeling right now. It's late, but I can't just go to sleep without recording this video. So I hope you watch the video until the end because I'm about to get really transparent and honest with you guys. Let's face it. A lot of people shy away from the fact that when you build your body, when you have a great physique, it comes with a lot. People act like, oh yeah, I just enjoy working out or whatever. But we all know it makes a huge difference in your life when you walk around looking a certain way, whether we accept it or not. The reality is, if you transform your physique, your whole life is gonna change. And I am an example of that. When I came to this country in Qatar, 12 years ago. I came here, I arrived, I only had $20 in my pocket. $20, that's it. That's what I used to pay the taxi from the airport to my accommodation. When I arrived there, I did not have any money after that. It was crazy. New country, I don't know anyone, I don't have any special skills, nothing. It was really tough. I was working in construction. The contract that I signed back home in Gambia to come here, it was 850 reals. That's like $200, maybe $220. I'm talking about US dollars. For the whole month, working in this heat, working outside, doing construction work, mixing up cement, carrying heavy stuff. That's what I was supposed to be getting paid. But the company that brought us here was a new company. So the guy wasn't even having enough work he wasn't having enough contracts for us to actually work to get paid. So it got to a point where we were not even doing any work because the guy couldn't have any contracts because all of us that he brought from Gambia to here to do that work were not professional. So when we take uh, contracts, we just mess it up and the guys, uh, they stopped giving him contracts. So we're just sitting on the accommodation, not having any money. It was months where the whole month you would work like, two or three times during the whole month. So whenever he had the small contracts, he would pick a few of us to go and do that job. So forget about $220 or whatever the amount was. We never actually got that. I still have the pay slip somewhere. I just take it out sometimes and just look at it. Sometimes we would work for the whole month, not work because the whole month there is no work. You're working two or three times a month and the money you would make would be like, I don't know, $50 if you're lucky. So how we survived, how we ate, thank God the embassy here, the Gambia embassy was able to support us and whatnot. So somehow we, we survived, bro. But it was days when I woke up and I didn't eat anything. And I would just be hoping that somehow I'll find uh, some food to eat somewhere. So it was really, really tough. I'm saying all that to let you guys understand what I'm trying to tell you here. So throughout that period, I was still working out. It's the only thing I had to keep me alive, basically. So I was doing my workout, doing whatever I could. So once I got out of that situation, which was about two years, after that, I started working at the mall. I had a job working as a sales, uh, salesperson at the, the mall, at one of the stores, and went through that whole process. The whole time, I was still working out. From that shop that I mentioned in one of my videos is where I started meeting personal trainers and I started asking questions and, and uh, just saw my interest in how can I become a personal trainer because I really wanted to do that. I was already working out a lot. People thought I looked good, like I had a decent physique and whatnot working at the shop there. So they would also advise me to, to pursue that. So I would like ask them where I could do courses. So the money I was making at the shop, I just invested. I have like a bunch of personal training certifications and then I was still working out doing what I could until I had a chance to start working at a gym. At the gym also is where I met some, they just wanted to hire me as a cleaner. And so I took that job. I'm going very fast through this story because I'm just giving you a little bit of background of what I'm trying to explain about how important it is for you guys to actually focus and invest in yourself, but especially in your appearance and your physique. So when I started working at the gym, I just went hard, started training hard, doing everything that I could. And my physique started to get a little better because 
a lot better because I was able to now invest more in myself and have more time to work out because I was actually working at the gym. So throughout that period, became a personal trainer, did really well, worked my way up to managing one of the gyms, doing freelance personal training, and now here we are talking. Since then, a lot has changed. And I would say that the reason a lot has changed is because I changed, but very importantly, I changed my physique. I kept on working on myself. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. When you change your physique, everything changes. People look at you different, people treat you different. You start seeing opportunities and seeing yourself in places that you could never imagine. When I got here those days, my goal was to just be able to find some food to eat, man. I wasn't even thinking beyond that. Since then, from that time until now, I've visited 11 countries. It's like a dream for me to even sit here and say that because I never even thought that would be an option coming from Gambia, where I came from. And it's just like, it's unreal what can happen when you actually, but listen, I'm not just saying go build your biceps and then your whole life is gonna change. You obviously have to invest in your mental, but what I'm saying is, your physique is gonna give you that attention. Your physique is gonna open the doors and it's gonna be up to you once those doors are open to have the mind, the mentality and the mindset to be able to take advantage of that. Because the reality is now we're living in a world of attention. You see all this, a lot of famous people online making millions of dollars. They don't have any special education. They don't have any special skills. Some of these girls, they just have a big ass and they have a lot of followers and companies paying them millions. Wherever the attention is, that's where the money goes, bro. So for us, man, it's a little bit harder to get that attention. So one thing you can do is to just hit the gym, work out, take care of your body, take care of your appearance. That's gonna take you to a whole nother level. And I know a lot of you might already be like making good money, you're rich, you don't even give a fuck about what I'm saying. But wherever you are in life, even if you're a multimillionaire, if you have a great physique, that's gonna enhance that. So your physique is something that you really need to work on your appearance, your look. Nowadays in 2024, going into 2025, it's very important. You see all these people making millions of dollars. A lot of them don't even have great education. Like I said previously, they don't have any great education. They don't have any special talents. But what they do is they have attention. And nowadays it's a fight for attention. All these companies paying models and influencers lots of money only because they want that attention that the model or the influencer has. And the way that person has that attention for the most part is their physique. Why do you think they're paying Dwayne Johnson all these millions in the movies? Yes, he might be a great actor, but part of that, whatever, what enhances that, his skills and his talents is his look, bro. I'm telling you, if he was extremely obese or whatever, maybe they wouldn't be paying him all those millions to be an actor. Why they pay, why all these companies paying Anthony Joshua, the boxer, all these millions? Yes, he's a great boxer, he's my favorite. I love him, I watch all his fights, but part of that is his look, his physique. He never stopped working on his body. He's always in great shape, always taking care of his appearance. Why do you think Cristiano Ronaldo, the football player, is very popular? Because of his physique. Yes, he's a great player. Again, you have to have great mind, you have to develop your mind, not only your biceps. That is the same reason why I'm not only gonna post bicep videos here. It's a combination, but your biceps is what's gonna open those doors. And then you have to have the mind to be smart enough like Cristiano Ronaldo or like Dwayne Johnson or like Joshua, all these guys to be able to use that and turn it into a business and actually do something with it. The same thing with the girl who has a beautiful body on Instagram, all these companies give it her millions. But if she's not smart, she's gonna get used and not get anything from that. So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. I'm not just saying go and build your body and you will be rich or whatever. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying if you transform your physique, you will see your whole life change because you are dealing with human beings on a day-to-day -day basis. And when people see you, that's how they treat you, bro. Like just yesterday, I went to, well, I went down the street here to work out at one of the gyms. And as soon as I walked in there, there's a coffee shop next to the gym. This happened all the time, bro. But just yesterday, this is what happened. There's like five or six guys sitting there having coffee, maybe three or four girls. Soon I walked in that coffee shop, everybody started looking at me like, sometimes it's even weird for me because it's like, I'm not craving for attention or nothing. I just stopped by to grab a coffee on my way to the gym. 
but everyone just stopped and started looking at me. And there's one of the girls there, she, she knows me and she said, hi, how are you? Soon as she started talking to me, all the guys jumped into the conversation. Man, where do you train? Blah, blah, blah. Everybody was like asking questions, asking for my Instagram. Do you think those guys would have stopped and started uh, talking to me or so interested in who I was if I just walked around maybe super skinny or super fat and no disrespect for someone who's super fat or super skinny i'm just saying the reality is those people they showed interest in who i was because of the way that i looked the way that i carried myself but if they saw interest and i start talking to them and i sound like an idiot and i maybe acted like an idiot then that attention would mean nothing so once that conversation opened up, it's gonna be up to you because what you, once you open your mouth now, your muscle is gonna take a break, bro. Your physique is gonna take the back seat. Let's hear what you have to say. That's why it is very important to also improve your, your mental. That's why you guys see all these books here, bro. I didn't put these books here just to de decorate my room. I've been buying books since when I was in that construction job because I just tried to read and study as much as possible to improve myself physically and mentally. This is why now, when I get the opportunity to be at this point where I'm able to travel the world, meet very important people, I've trained ministers and bank CEOs and directors and professional football players. I've worked with many, many high uh, status people in this country. And I've met a lot of very high status people outside of this country. But when I meet, the reason I'm able to meet them is my career path is, the, like I said, when people see me, they want to talk to me, they're so interested in who I am because I stand out from the crowd. That's one thing, I'm not rich, I'm not driving a Ferrari, but because of the way I look and the way I carry myself, it opens that door for me, but it's gonna be up to me to be able to present myself in a way that people are gonna wanna stay around me. If you meet a girl who's super sexy, maybe you'll talk to her, but if she starts talking and you find out she's stupid, maybe you won't hang with her too long. So that's what I'm saying. You have to work on your mindset as well. You have to work on your mind. You have to work on everything to improve yourself as a person overall. But your physique is, a, is the best way to start because you don't have to really invest money into that. All you need to do is pump up, do some push-ups, wash your food, go for a run, hit the gym. It's easy, bro. Even if you don't have any money, it's a great investment. All you need to do is invest your time and effort. You don't need too much money to do that. Like right now, I'm recording this video. I'm sitting in a... Thank God, very nice two bedroom apartment, sea view, gym, uh, pool, everything is in here. And just a few years ago, bro, I was sleeping in a single room with eight other guys, bunk beds, like we in a prison or something. The toilet was horrible. I used to sit in my bed like this, eating my food, and there's another guy sleeping underneath me. Once you go down from the bed, also it's guys sleeping on the floor. That's how we used to live here when I, when I got here years ago. So fast forward, here I am now. All that happened because of the investments that I made into improving myself overall, but also focusing on improving my physique to make sure that that will open the doors for me to be able to use what I have up here to create an opportunity for myself. So, like I said guys, I'm not just gonna be posting workout videos because the workouts or the physique is not the end goal, it's the means to an end. You create the physique, you build your body. We're in 2024 guys, accept it, take it for what it is bro. This is what it is, unfortunately maybe, that people have to judge you based on how you look. But first, it's how you look. After that, then people get to know you. And then it's what's up here. I've been, uh, like I said, 11 different countries, France, Germany, Amsterdam, uh, Singapore, US many times, Dubai, you name it. All these countries, bro, I go up there and like, a lot of guys struggling to, to get women. The last time I was in Atlanta, Georgia, I just arrived there, posted on Instagram, via, uh, Facebook. And I cannot tell you how many girls that's been following me on Instagram and YouTube and stuff, Instagram mainly, message me like, oh, you're in Atlanta, would be nice to meet, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, I didn't meet them. I'm not there for that, but I'm just saying, this is what happened. I am someone from Gambia, bro. I came over here working construction. I went through all that craziness 
just to get out of it to a point where I'm in America somewhere or I'm in Europe somewhere. Last time I was in Germany, the same thing. I'm just outside running, doing my stuff. People approaching me, trying to talk to me and all this thing. And it's not like, it's not an ego thing. It's not, it's not like me saying, hey, look at me, everyone's taking pictures with me. That's not what I'm saying. But it's what it represents. Because if it wasn't for all this, if it wasn't for all the investment and all the work, if I walk down the street in Germany, bro, these people are not gonna talk to me. They're not gonna come to me and try to take a picture. But because of the investment, no matter what's in their heads, when they see me, that for that moment, they're gonna be like, who is that guy? It happened to me in Qatar here, walking around late night without my ID. The police stopped me. Back then, they used to just stop people randomly. I guess there's many people here before without ID and stuff. They stopped me to ask for my ID and then the whole conversation ended up being about my training and what I eat. And immediately they started asking me if I want to join the police. The guy gave me his contact number. I used to be in the police, blah, blah. They didn't even ask for my ID. And guess what? I didn't even have my ID on me. But because of the way I, they saw me and how I spoke to them, they just forgot all about my ID. So these are all the things that happen to you when you build your physique, when you stand out. It's all about standing out, guys. When you walk into the club, when you walk into the coffee shop, wherever you go, people just wanna talk to you, people wanna be around you because also the process you go through to get that physique is gonna teach you a lot to where you will know better how to deal with people. You carry yourself different because you have that confidence and you just have that energy around you to where people can just feel it. At airports, wherever I go, bro, it's always like that. So I just wanted to sit here and talk to you guys a little bit about that and I hope this would encourage you to take yourself more seriously when it comes to your own personal development. I'll see you guys in the next video.